Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Jumping right to the point because today's video is probably gonna be very long and talkative, we are going to be doing a full review of the brand new Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. There's been so much controversy and drama regarding this launch and I really wasn't sure if it was my position or place to be talking about it. However, so many of you guys asked for a full on review of the actual product and I definitely wanna talk about the launch because let's be real, this was definitely not Tarte's best move. There are a lot of problems with this particular launch that we will get into in a few short seconds. I'm an influencer that's been blessed with a very, very large platform and I definitely wanna use my voice for good and I believe this launch was definitely not good so I wanna talk about it with you guys. Without further ado, let's jump right into the review of the Tarte Shape Tape Foundations. <laughs> Just for a quick little backstory in case you have no idea what's going on here, at the very end of 2016, Tarte Cosmetics released a concealer called Shape Tape. It was picked up by both beauty gurus and consumers from all around the world who quickly fell in love with it for its full coverage, easily blendable formula. And by the end of 2017, it was the world's number one best selling concealer. A few weeks ago out of literally nowhere, Tarte posted that the Shape Tape Concealer was gonna be made into a Tarte Shape Tape Foundation and the world was literally shook. I live in California and I've never actually experienced a real life earthquake since I moved here, but I swear to God, I think that on that day that this foundation was announced, I could feel the ground moving just a little bit from everybody jumping up and down from excitement, including myself. I was so excited and so ready for this. If you are a true sister, you know that I literally use Shape Tape in every single video. It is like the staple of my makeup routine, so I was so ready for this foundation launch, and so was everybody else, until this picture was posted. This photo has since been deleted from Tarte's Instagram page, but I remember when they posted this, my mouth literally dropped to the floor. There's absolutely no other word to describe this other than embarrassing. Tarte released two different formulas of this foundation for different skin types, a matte version and a hydrating version. We'll be testing out both in a few short minutes, but each version came with 15 different shades. Now, even though 15 shades isn't a lot, there can very easily be a full and beautiful gradient from very, very light to very, very dark. The undertones might not be the best in all of them, but at least there would be a full on gradient so most people could find their skin tone. If we look at the photo that Tarte posted, however, this gradient that I'm talking about is nowhere in sight. In the matte version, there is literally 10 light shades, three borderline medium shades, or like light medium shades, and then two dark shades just slapped right on at the end, and the hydrating one is even worse, with literally 13 light shades, and then the biggest jump I've ever seen in a foundation line, and then just two dark shades at the end. Just looking at the swatches again on my phone, I think I could probably wear shades number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and maybe even shade number 11 if I had a tan and get away with it matching. Literally the person's arm who these foundations is swatched on it does not even have a shade match for them. Hello! It is 2018 and I just cannot wrap my head around how this launched even passed in the first place. Like, whoever put the stamp of approval on this, I just wanna talk. Not only is a launch like this racist, but it's just really, really stupid. Morals aside, and from a business standpoint, women of color equate for 80% of all money going into the beauty industry, but for some reason, they are still overlooked. The lack of inclusion is a lose-lose situation because you look dumb and now you're losing money. Get it together. As a makeup artist who happens to be white, I definitely recognize my privilege in this situation. I know that I can walk into Sephora and find at least 10 different foundation lines that'll have a perfect match for my skin tone, but so many people of color cannot say the same thing. I just cannot imagine what it would feel like to be forgotten about like that and to be a person of color and to be so excited for a launch like this and then to see the Shade Rage launch and just feel completely excluded and to know that there is nothing even close to your skin tone. Since all the drama and controversy has started, Tarte has come out and said that they're launching five additional shades to each line. But even if those shades are all really, really dark, the line would still be predominantly lighter shades. And we haven't even seen the five additional colors yet, so literally four of them could still be lighter colors. At this point, there are like six colors that all look exactly the same, so might as well just add four more. This announcement came with the classic response of, there are a lot of shades still in the works that are taking a lot of our time and a lot of money, but we were so excited about these, so we just wanted to get them out ahead of time for you guys. They're definitely not wrong in the sense that developing complexion products is a timely and expensive process, but Tarte takes influencers on huge brand trips all the time, and Shape Tape is the world's number one best-selling concealer, and at $28 a pop, 
We know y'all got money. And as consumers, we have plenty of time. We all have our favorite foundations that we know and love and use every single day. And nobody was even excited about this launch until it was announced just a few weeks ago. Tarte really easily could have worked on perfecting their shade range to be fully inclusive over the next few months and then launch them all together at once. We've already waited for over a year for this foundation to launch. We could wait a few more months if that means everybody would be able to try it out. Simply put, people of color should not be an afterthought. I wanna make it very clear that the point of this video is not to bash Tarte. I am definitely someone in the past who has also come under fire for racial things, but I can tell you firsthand that the way to fight ignorance is not through actually fighting it, it's through education. Hopefully by myself, other beauty influencers, and the thousands of customers speaking up and using their voice for good about this issue, Tarte realizes what they did was very, very wrong, and they'll work in the future to be a much more inclusive and diverse brand. I am a makeup channel and the whole point of doing a review is to test out an actual makeup product. I will be putting this foundation on my skin today and seeing how it looks, how it wears, and how it feels, but no matter what the results of this review are, I want you to know that I do not support this foundation. I'm gonna wear this once and I will not feature the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation again on my channel unless the shade range is massively expanded. Now that I have all my thoughts and opinions on the table, let's go ahead and see what the real tea is on the foundation. So as I said before, Tarte launched two different formulas, each with 15 different shades, a matte formula and a more hydrating formula. Now these foundations retail for $39 each and each come with 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce of product, which is honestly average and very, very comparable to many of the other most popular foundations on the market. Tarte sent over three different shades that they thought would match me best in a PR package, but I wasn't sure if these were going out in PR, so I actually ordered them online as well. So I have four different shades to try out for today and see which one matches me best. This is light medium honey. This is fair light neutral. A little bit light for me, I think. Flashback Mary is shaking. This is light neutral. And this is light medium neutral. Looking at all four of these colors completely dried down, I'm gonna go with light neutral as my shade today. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the matte foundation to the left side of my face. Just like always, it has a doe foot applicator similar to Shape Tape, which I actually honestly really, really like for a foundation. I've definitely been having some skin issues recently and Shape Tape is very known for being full coverage. So hopefully that'll reign true with this foundation because Lord knows we could use some coverage right now. I'm just gonna blend the matte foundation and using my normal beauty blender. Tarte sent over their brand new blending sponge and also this brush to blend the foundation in, but I personally can really not stand when brands do that. I definitely should not have to spend extra money on products just to blend in and use my foundation. Okay, whoa, this actually dried down really, really fast. It's not even like blending in that easily. This foundation definitely oxidizes a little bit, I think, because as you can see when I'm applying it, I just applied a little bit more over my beard area for some more coverage. It definitely goes on way lighter than it dries down up here. Interesting. Looking in the mirror, I'm honestly underwhelmed. My skin looks fine. It definitely did a really good job of evening everything out. It is very, very full coverage, like the claim says, which is great, but I feel like I was like really ready to just be shook out of my mind with this foundation because Shape Tape, let's be real, literally changed the makeup game for so many people, including myself, but this just feels like a normal everyday foundation to me. Okay, whoa, touching my face, the foundation is already almost completely dry. I feel like I might not even need to set this with translucent setting powder. I'm spooked magooked. I can already tell you that this foundation is probably not gonna be ideal for people with very, very dry skin. I have oily skin and the fact that this still dry down is a little bit alarming, but there is still the hydrating formula which does not dry down as much, has a light to medium coverage finish and contains hyaluronic acid for those of you guys who wanna have a more moisturized foundation base. I know I definitely love a good dewy skin look and this might be a little bit better for those of you guys who have dry skin. So I'm gonna grab the same exact shade light neutral and apply that to the right side of my face. Okay, whoa, so even just applying this foundation, it definitely has a way different consistency. I would say that the matte foundation honestly feels a lot like the regular Shape Tape concealer. It definitely has a very, very thick consistency that we're all used to, but I would say that the hydrating formula is more of like a gel slash watery type formula. It definitely feels more lightweight. Oh my God, the color difference. Flashback Mary says, hi, are you kidding? What? Oh my God. I'm gonna blend this side out as well using a beauty blender. 
This one definitely does have a more hydrating consistency. My skin definitely does look a little bit more dewy, a little bit more radiant. I feel like they're probably going for a your skin but better type of foundation. My skin tone is evened out a little bit, but you can definitely still see my natural skin coming through from underneath. I actually do not like how my skin looks on the hydrated side at all right now. I feel like the texture is very, very intense. I can very much see all my pores in this region, and as well as my acne on my forehead is looking not the best, that's for sure. Since this is both a shape tape and a foundation review, I feel like it would only be right to use the shape tape concealer like normal to finish off my base today. I'm gonna apply this just as normal on all the high points of my face, and I'm using the shade Light Sand. Okay, well, this is actually really hard to blend on the matte side. This foundation definitely did not lie when it says it dries down. Now that that concealer is all blended out, I'm just gonna powder as always using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm gonna first start off by packing that underneath my eyes on both sides and then just going over my nose because Lord knows that that gets pretty oily and wearing a hydrating foundation has me a little bit scared at this point. I'm also gonna plop that right in the middle of my forehead to set everything in place and make sure I don't get any creases and then just use the excess on the rest of my face just to lock everything in place. Okay guys, so that is the foundation all applied and completely set in place. I will say looking in the mirror, the two sides now look almost exactly identical. There was clearly a huge difference when applying this side dried down matte real quick and this side was very, very hydrated, but with the addition of powder, they look really, really similar. Who knows, that may change throughout the next few hours during wearing it. This side may wear down much, much quicker, but I really have no idea. We're gonna have to find out. All that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look and my final thoughts. All right, sisters, hello, I am back. It has been about three hours, three hours now since I last left you guys. I finished up my makeup. Clearly, as you can see, I went a little bit crazy with my look today, but I honestly love how this turned out. I have not gotten to play with color in so long, and this look is literally stunning. Just in case you're wondering, I used the Morphe 35B palette. You guys know you can use code James for 10% off. And now with this eye look, Mermaids are shaking. Back to the point of this video, we are talking about foundation today, and I think I have finally gathered my final thoughts for you guys. When I first heard that Tarte was releasing a foundation version of the iconic Shape Tape Concealer, I was so beyond excited. I was honestly ready to have this be my new Holy Grail product. I was ready to throw my Too Faced Born This Way literally out the window and have it be my new favorite foundation, but I'm not gonna lie, after trying this out today, I'm underwhelmed. I think the matte foundation does exactly what it claims to do. It is very, very full coverage as you can see. My skin tone is very, very even, which I love. My under eye bags, five o'clock shadow, and acne is pretty much all evened out and covered over, which is great because clearly we have a lot going on on the face right now. The one thing that I will say that I don't really love about the matte foundation is that when it says it dries down matte, it dries down real, real matte. While applying it, it was actually drying down as I put it on my face. So when I went into my beauty blender, I almost could barely even blend it in because it was literally already that dry. If you're someone like me who has oily skin, I think that this foundation would be passable for you, being that both the oils on my skin and the dryness of the foundation are kind of like fighting against each other to create like a pretty good base. But if you have normal or dry skin, this is gonna be a major, major no for you. You probably are gonna look like vanilla cake mix and that is obviously never the move. Similar to the matte side, I believe that the hydrating formula pretty much does exactly as it claims to as well. It is definitely a more medium coverage rather than full coverage. It did a really great job of evening out my skin tone, which obviously we want in a foundation, but there is a little bit more of my skin peeking through. I'm pretty lucky to usually have really, really smooth skin, and texture is usually not a big problem for me. I'm not gonna discuss my forehead region because clearly we have a little bit of a situation going on up there right now, but on the side of my nose and in this region, like on my cheek where my pores are, my texture actually looks pretty bad. I really don't even have that big of pores, but for some reason this foundation I feel like is making them look really, really large and definitely emphasizing them, which is never fun. And the sides of my nose actually looks pretty rough, which I feel like is kind of disrupting my whole nose contour, which you guys know is absolutely vital to my makeup routine, so I'm really not loving how this region looks on the hydrating side. After testing it and wearing both of the Tarte Shape Tape foundations, I will say that I do like them. I think it wears beautifully on the skin and would be a really, really great full coverage option to all of you guys, but I just simply don't feel comfortable recommending a foundation that has a shade range that so many of you guys are excluded from. If you do decide to check out this foundation, that is totally up to you. I obviously cannot control you or tell you how to spend your money. At least you know in this case that if you are spending your hard-earned coins on this, that you're getting a good product in return. But for me personally, I will not be using this again or promoting it on my channel until Tarte decides to diversify and make their 
their shade range more inclusive because as it stands right now, it is very, very embarrassing. Tar, I love you guys, and I know so many Avid Beauty fans out there really, really love you as well. We are rooting for you. We were all rooting for you, but this launch was a major, major disappointment. I really hope you guys are able to take all this feedback and constructive criticism into consideration for future launches. There's so many people of color out there who would love to rock your products because let's be real, a lot of the products are really, really bomb, and I hope you guys are able to take this situation and learn from it and do better. All right, sisters, that is all I have for this video today. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe if you have not already. Click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They are both just James Charles. And my Snapchat for more behind the scenes type stuff is James Charles with an extra ass after Charles. This week's sister shout out goes to Sister Daniel. Thank you so much, babe, for always following and supporting. You know, I love you so much. And if you would like to be the next video sister shout out, make sure to always retweet our video links and they go live on Twitter. All right, sisters, that is all I have for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>